55 ain't half bad definitely want to try out this buff bunny bra during my run today because it's literally built for running leggings or shorts let's still stick with shorts good morning and happy monday welcome back to another vloggy i'm going on a run so i might as well take everybody along because i'm in my running girl era as you guys know oh my god that was like very stark of a contrast fit of the run we are wearing the wicked sports bra from buff bunny collection like i told you guys it has a little like velcro in the back so you can just like cinch it however tight or loose you want which i love i am locked and loaded guys these girls are not going nowhere <laughs> but i'm also wearing the phantom jacket from buff bunny collection in the color white i don't know how well this is going to play out because i don't like for my arms to be restricted especially during running so we'll we'll see how this plays out but it is a little bit chillier outside 55 degrees which i wasn't expecting but i love obviously i'm here for it um and then paragon fitwear feather knit track shorts my favorite shorts of all time and then honor active little fanny pack i'm not gonna bring this little setup out there and vlog out there because i'm trying to get in and out i don't even like to pack really heavy at all i literally have my headphones in my ears and i'll bring the case in the fanny pack literally i just have the headphones in my ears i take my keys off of my carabiner because my keys are attached to the rest of my wallet so I literally take my keys off and then put it in here. That's how much I don't want to be like held down. And then my phone, that's it. And even my phone is a little bit too much. So I may or may not get some clips from my phone, but let's go on this freaking run. <sighs> not gonna lie, probably one of the best runs that I've ever done because the weather was what? 1013 was my final time. I'm really, really happy with that because my miles have been averaging 11, 11, 15. But to shave off a whole minute is crazy. I also like to track how fatigued I am, judging by the walk back to the house and I have a couple landmarks that I'm like if I'm like freaking winded by this point that's when you know it's like not the best run but whenever I hit that landmark I was able to breathe just fine granted like obviously a little bit more tired than usual but I wasn't winded like at all which is so crazy but I do think that the weather had a bit of a part to play just because man today's weather was fan freaking tastic like wow it was just so good like the whole run was just so freaking good guys I am <sighs> tired I'm tired first but very happy second so let's freaking shower and make my coffee all right let us make our coffee for the day my favorite part of the day <laughs> i just love coffee so much you guys i do have a super busy morning so i'm gonna need the fuel Alrighty, let's see how many ounces we're gonna pull today let's go Two point two seven. a lot better than last week this is what i mean by whirlpool the milk is literally creating like a whirlpool. And that's what you want for the bubbles and whatnot to mix in with the milk. Alrighty, like a freaking blaze. I'm afraid that this is a little bit too thick though, but you know, we'll see what happens. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. Oh, you see that? This is about to spill over. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? Ew. <laughs> what is this? I need you guys to understand what we're looking at right now because the way that this is about to freaking spill over, but it's not. A little bit of salt. Some pepper, umami seasoning from Trader Joe's, just a little bit of sesame oil. I like my eggs sunny side up, so I'll just put it in there for a little bit, let it cook. Let's see if this yolk is gonna be runny. Mm, I'll take that. It's not runny, but 
It's just like perfect. So mm, I'm gonna eat, go upstairs, get some client work done, edit the role that I'm gonna post today, go downstairs and do the Paragon Fitwear try on haul and then head to the gym. Every single time I think I'm about to get a package or like I hear a sound outside, I'm like, <gasps> <laughs> but it wasn't anything. I am expecting an interactive package though. Something has been teased over the past couple months and I've been waiting for it to finally get here. So once I get that, I'll definitely unbox it for you guys. So I just finished up with client check-ins and I only have one client left so it only took me like 15 to 20 minutes or so but if you're wanting the gist on coaching as a whole and why I only have one client then refer back to my old vlog from literally last week and I'll just link it somewhere up here for you guys but the next thing that I'm working on that is still coaching related is that I'm actually grading one of my old clients programs this client just graduated from coaching with me or like off-boarded and something that I have my clients do a little like homework assignment if you may is that I actually have them write me a workout split. Like I have them write me their own workout program based on all of the knowledge that they accumulated over the past couple months of training with me. What I'll do is go ahead and grade that, assess it, add my feedback and my comments and whatnot because I do want them to obviously be independent and have the ability to program something for themselves. Like that's the whole goal with coaching, right? Like I would ideally love to have my clients for forever, but that's just not the case. Like I, I want my clients to graduate and to just like be on their own with all the tools in their toolbox to, you know, do their fitness journeys. So with that being said, this is what I have so far. So this client sent me a four day workout split. I just graded quads and glutes. I still have three more days to do. Basically, this is the workout that she gave me. This is just adding my feedback and comments as to why I probably wouldn't program these two for like a quads and glute day. And then here I actually rewrote her workout to something that is more similar to what I would probably program for this client. So yeah, just a little bit of insight as to what I'm currently doing right now. But uh, it probably took me like 35 to 40 minutes just on this slide alone. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and finish and then uh, get to editing that freaking reel for my Instagram. Guys, my freaking interactive package is here. I'm like looking at the DHL truck. Ooh, he's carrying the packages inside. I should never be this happy to get packages, but every single time I get packages, I get so happy. Eee! Let's go get it. <laughs> that is so satisfying. Are you freaking ready? You guys, the honor active puffer jacket. The inner is lined. Oh, big sleigh. This is heavy duty. Oh my gosh. And it has honor on the freaking <sighs> zipper as well. And you can cinch your waist with these little buttons on the side. Has inner pockets. <laughs> oh, shut the F up, bro. Oh my gosh, thumb holes. This feels so nice. Wait a minute. Wait a mother freaking minute. <laughs> Let's pretend I'm wearing like a little crop top situation. Oh, the pockets are lined with fleece too. This fits so cute. It's so, it's so puffy. Okay, that was just the first thing. I still have the rest of this package to go through. So let's do that. Classic oversized lightweight t-shirt in khaki green. Here's Miss khaki green. I don't know why I got sent an extra small in this top because I'm usually a large in those tops. So at least I can do like a comparison for you guys now for different sizes. Oversized v-neck sweatshirt. Ooh, an extra small is cute. All day cargo jogger, yep, in cool brown. We've seen this before in the color white. There were a couple other colors that launched as well, but this one has like the terry on the inside. So definitely the lightweight version of all of the all day joggers and whatnot has two cargo pockets on either side, three zippers. So there's two and then there's like an inner one. All day lightweight oversized sweatshirt in black. This is not my size. This is an extra small, but I wear like a medium to large in these. But at least I can do fit comparisons for you guys. But 
that is it. We are scrapping the try on haul until tomorrow because time just flew by way too freaking fast across me creating um, a new TikTok account, not purposefully, basically starting up a new TikTok, but I wanted the Tracy B Fit username to transfer over and TikTok hasn't recognized that the username is available yet so I accidentally submitted tracyb.fit but I was like Evit we're just gonna keep it and hopefully nobody takes the at you know Tracy B Fit username in 30 days. Now it's 4.30, so we're definitely late to the gym. But I wanted to show you guys my little gym fit of the day. I am wearing Paragon Fitwear. This is the new Ultra Lux Roost Bra launching tomorrow. And then the Rec Stretch 5 inch shorts. And then my Metcon 5s. Let's get it. We are hitting quads and glutes today, and I'm ready for this juicy. Pump. Starting off this quad and glute day, I love doing me some squats, a movement that I used to hate, um, but now I really thoroughly enjoy it, especially now that I'm able to build up my strength doing proper form. Um, these felt a little bit heavy today, I'm not gonna lie, and I was pretty winded after finishing squats, and I decided, you know what, let's just capitalize on feeling like that and just do it again. So <laughs> here I am doing Smith Machine Step Ups, a variation that I love doing in addition to cable step ups as well. Here you can see me loading it on the actual shoulder of the working leg, so my sagittal plane, and this just targets my quads and glutes so much more, and as you can see, I can't even keep my eyes open during this, but afterwards, I did some heavy leg extensions, which definitely destroyed me, and I ended with some cable kickbacks, a movement that I haven't done in a while, but after this, I don't know why I continued, but Gio was playing around with the sled, so I was like, let's just do some sled pulls, and that left me sore for a couple days. Ooh. 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 First of all, that was because I was cold. It's like B R R R R. No, no, no. It was like B U U H. <laughs> That's what it was. Okay, backstory behind that is that one night. Whenever we were in bed, he turns the AC on at night to 68 because apparently that's like the optimal time for sleep. And it was so cold that I literally went Buh. and now he just won't stop Buh. making fun of me for it. But anywho, woo. That's all the energy that I could muster for this workout, but it was a fire quads and glutes day. So it's time to go home and make some chicken. Um, I'm cooking drumsticks tonight with some mashed potatoes and broccolini. So, woo! <laughs> Good morning, happy Tuesday. It is currently just over 8 30 and we are heading to the grocery store because i've been really <laughs> craving that like potato bacon hash whatever that that geo made and i just have to have it again so i have a little mini mini list of things to get at the grocery store today we're gonna cook breakfast and then i'm actually going to you know do my paragraph that we're trying on haul i need the most almost destroyed bananas here i'm going back to houston this weekend and i'm making my mom some banana bread I think I'll take these. You freaking left me. Well, when I looked over and you're still recording bananas, I knew I did the right thing. <laughs> but I was trying to look for the ones that were most, like, almost ripe. Okay. Brown sugar, mini chocolate chips for the banana bread, good old hearty water burger. <laughs> so cute. I'm gonna put y'all on. I don't know if rave apples are in season right now, but these are the best freaking apples that I've ever had in my entire life. Not no envy, not no honey crisp, nothing. Rave apples. I must try the pancakes on me. It works so hard to make. Yeah, <laughs> I will say. Switching from savory to sweet is kind of weird. But I do like the fact that the sweet and the savory is so separate. It feels like a completely different world of flavors. Hello, friends. Wanted to hop on and do a quick little try on haul of everything that is launching for Paragon Fitwear's new 
form collection. Okay, next up, I don't want to step on Bruno. He's literally laying so funny right now. <laughs> this is what you guys don't see. Cheers! Done. Gym fit of the day. We are hitting chest today. I'm wearing Honor Active, the timeless strappy bralette, as well as the all day joggers that I wore this morning. Effortless shorts in Cole, as well as my new Nikes. Alrighty, ladies, we are training chest and arms today. We do not skip out on chest and arms. Leg day is not every single day, guys, um, but this is my third set, I believe, because I'm only doing this for a set of three, and I just about, you know, wasn't able to get this up. As you can see, I grinded that out and was barely able to re-rack it back on the bar, but after this, we are doing some tricep dips, a movement that I haven't done in a while, but actually felt really, really good. Um, this is assisted, so you could, you know, fold the bar down and and add weight to it. So next, after this, we are doing some tricep push downs. I only did this for three sets of about six to 10 or so. Dropped the weight for sure because doing those tricep dips absolutely destroyed me, but we are ending with some bicep curl 21s. Um, I started out doing a full range of motion bicep curl, and then I transitioned over to the lower range of motion, then upper range of motion. As you can see, by the time I got here, I was not doing too hot, guys. But after this, we ended the workout by doing some iso hold bicep curls where essentially you are literally just doing a hold on one arm while the other performs the movement and I was not okay. Got home from the gym and I've been itching to open this ever since Gio freaking took it out of the mailbox. So we're gonna open it together. So these are the uh, V2K, yeah, Nike V2K run. Excuse me, can I have that please? Drop it. Thank you. Yay! <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm freaking dead. They are such a dad shoe. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh wait, they're a perfect fit. <laughs> yeah, it's like this metallic color. These are so cute! <laughs> <laughs> you like my dance? Yes. <laughs> I am the worst. I'm so sorry, you guys, but we just wanted to get through cooking so we could relax. So I didn't vlog it, but I made some air fried drumsticks, mashed potatoes, as well as roasted broccolini, and we washed suits and called it a night. Dude, I look fucking busted right now. <laughs> but I need to hop on here and tell y'all something real quick. First of all, it is 1021. I wasn't gonna pick my camera up until tomorrow but Gio and I cut our rave apple and this is literally the most perfect, beautiful, amazing, tastiest apple I've ever had in my life. This, cr <laughs> this crunch is immaculate. Like I have never felt so passionate about an apple until now. I'm gonna get questions about why the apple's cut like this. So I'm gonna just tell y'all real quick. Gio cut one side of this and it wasn't close enough to the center like where all the seeds are and stuff. So I just cut the slice off that's why it looked like this so i ate it like that right and i was like wait this is low-key an elite way to eat this apple instead of cutting it into like the normal triangle shaped slices so dude he's literally about to cut it like that right now don't ask why we don't have a cutting board it's 10 22 we don't harp on the details we're just here to enjoy one sweat oh, <laughs> i got that in the vlog run sweat poop and weigh ourselves. <laughs> but good morning guys. Happy Wednesday. We are going on a run and this is the little running fit of the day. Honestly, these Vitality track suits are everything. It's giving track star. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have heard me talk about this windbreaker time and time again. My favorite windbreaker of all time, period. Um, but I'm wearing this Buff Bunny bra underneath. This one's pretty old, but that's the running fit guys. Can't wait to whew, get my sweat in. So let's go. Not the best run. So Gio did 9.46. I did 10.20, which is a win, I'll take that, but it was 90% humidity today. So it wasn't the best running condition, even though it was cool, but we're dying. Currently getting ready. Um, I haven't vlogged all day because I've been editing this vlog all day. And 
Now it is four o'clock. I think we're close to the four o'clock range. Gio wanted to take me on a little date. So we're gonna get some Italian food. And low key, this concealer makes my, it's kind of like a highlighter in itself. But I don't usually do much for my makeup routine um, because my skin is so sensitive. I feel like I've always just focused on my eyes. So I'll do like, you know, a good brow, liner, mascara, eyeshadow, all of that. More recently, I've just been using concealer like where my under eyes are uh, with a little bit, just a little bit of uh, highlight and then blush. I'll like pack the blush on, but I freaking love the Fit Me uh, concealer by Maybelline. It just stays all freaking day without creasing for me. Um, so we're just gonna finish this off with some blush. Oh yeah, you can literally already see that like popping up on camera. Bring a little bit of color back on my face and then we'll call it a day. Let's set this with a setting spray. I'll use the NYX matte finishing spray. I don't have a lot left as we can see, so. So this is the full look. <laughs> Vitality head to freaking toe. I'm wearing the Cloud 2X jumpsuit in Coco as well as the Cloud 2 shrug in Coco. So it's a little like matching fit. Um, this is backless. I don't know if I can. Yeet. <laughs> Backless, hence the name X because it crosses in the back. I think she is so freaking cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's go eat lunch. So we went to this Italian restaurant called Bufalina and it's this little like pizza place. They opened at 4 p.m. So we were one of the first people there. Didn't have to wait whatsoever um, because it was literally so packed right afterwards because it was their happy hour. So like I said, we literally came at the perfect time. I am not a wine drinker, but I was like, you know what? We're on a date. Like I might as well. And look at me with my little pinky up. So classy. I love to see it. Um, but after this we ate this bread and i was saying that it was so soft and so like spongy as well because yeah that bread was nine dollars but it was fire and then this pizza holy crap i cannot stop thinking about this pizza it was so so good we got the induja which is that one and then the red pie with pepperoni but yeah man that was a fire lunch happy dance <laughs> so food was fire i have a pepper in my tooth but i can't find my floss so don't look at my teeth because we've lived here for so long you would think that we would get out more and you know do shenanigans and whatnot but we don't <laughs> we want to do that more so basically what i've done over the past couple months is that every single time i see a reel about austin anything in austin whether it be an event or a new coffee place a new bar or like new activities or whatever i will save it in like a saved folder and then add geo as like a collaborator so we can just pull in and add things as we see them currently we don't know what to do so i went into this folder and i was like oh wait i saw this reel the other day on where to buy local art and we've been wanting to buy more like local art instead of just you know buying it at home goods or whatever so this might be the move. Paperwork. Work. Oh, paper. Oh, this is super cute. You guys, I was obsessed with this little store. It was so cute. And I feel like I don't walk into the little boutiques that line the South Austin, you know, strip enough. And I need to because I love walking into little boutiques and stuff like this. But essentially, it was a huge, like, gift store. Um, had a lot of little random things. But this is the photo printing room where all of the local art is. It's actually also separated in these bins and whatnot by the artist. And and as you can see, there's a little bit of something for everybody here. And then I saw these prints and I was like, oh my gosh, coffee. Like, what if we hung these up? But yeah, so cute. I was obsessed with this place. This brand makes the strangest earrings. That one is chicken and waffles. And we have knives. Oh my gosh, these are little like pizza slicers. A whole machete, skeleton unicorn, salt and pepper, and fork. Boba. Little pizza slices. Freaking yeehaw. Mernin. Happy Thursday. Today is Thursday. <laughs> so whenever Gio and I got home for our date, that was around 6, 7 p.m. ish. Just got straight to editing and I didn't finish until like around 11.30 or so. So I was like, there's nothing to vlog. I'm just editing this vlog the, the whole time. So starting out fresh today, I woke up at around 7.45, but it is currently almost 10 a.m. I told myself I was gonna take a slow morning, but instead of like sleeping in, I read up 
on my book, Six of Crows. This is the duology from Leigh Bardugo. This is the first book that I'm reading from her. And I know that the Shadow and Bone series um, got turned into a whole like Netflix series or whatever. I mean, it also tells you smack dab on the freaking cover as well. But um, I've been very big onto reading ever since late last year. I always loved reading, but I feel like, I don't know, the older I got, I just stopped reading. But like growing up, oh my gosh, you could not not catch me in a library reading like one of my childhood friends that i rekindled with like one day just made fun of me going like this and i was like what does this mean and she was like dude whenever you used to read in like fifth grade you used to read like this i literally would splay out the pages like this and start reading and i was like how do you remember that but i am a sucker for a good ya teen angst like dystopia fantasy smutty novel like with a good female lead character. I also like Dark Academia. I just finished the Folk of the Air trilogy, which I hated. And if you follow me over on Instagram, you would know how much I hated it and why I did. But again, this is my first Bardugo book and I love her writing style so far. It's a little bit different from the books that I've recently read, such as like the Throne of Glass series, Court of Thorns and Roses, Mortal Instruments, um, a little bit more crime it seems with just like a little hint of fantasy so far i'm literally only on page four so i couldn't tell you guys too much but i'm excited to continue reading it so that's what i was doing all morning and then after i make my coffee eat some breakfast i'm probably just gonna go back to editing my vlog glaze period all right let's see what i can make today Hey yo. Wah. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> Shut up. Oh my god, guys. I did it. <gasps> I freaking made something. Oh my god, wait. No, because the way that I'm so shook right now, I can't believe I just made that, you guys. Holy crap. So, I don't know what this design is called. I think it's some sort of... Okay, hold up. Let's see. Latte art designs. Okay, yeah. It looks like I made a very, very baby tulip. So, this is what I made. You can kind of see the little, like, domes. I forgot what they're called, but it's like three little ones. And then as you saw, I freaking poured it through. So, oh my goodness. Best freaking cup of coffee ever. Mama has been absolute ass at vlogging today. Is that right? If that's right, then give me your paw. Yeah, even Nala knows. <laughs> I'm supposed to be working out right now. We're on my way to the gym, but she already knows. Gio was like, why don't you take both of the dogs on a run? And I was like, we mapped out the neighborhood. And if I were to go my typical like walking route, it's 0.5 miles. And so once I'm done with a half mile, I'll just switch dogs, right? <sighs> you want to go on a walk? <sighs> mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to do right now. Like I said, I've been crap at vlogging today because all I've done today was edit. So, <laughs> sorry, but we're going on a run now. It was humid out there. That felt good. Okay, I mean, yeah, she wasn't pulling like at all, but sorry. also I had her on like a super short leash. Okay, Bruno. Hey. Yeah, oh, they, oh, hey, you wanna go on a run? Okay, come on, come on. Ow. I forgot my headphones. I took them off whenever um, I came in here and whenever I went back out, I didn't, un or, I didn't know if I left them on the table or my fanny pack. So I was like, oh fuck, like I had already started the run. So I was like rummaging around. I was like, fuck it. We're just gonna run without any music. They were just in my fanny pack the whole time. Yeah. Also, I think the wind stopped as soon as I went for that second round because that was brutal. But Bruno did really well. But we already knew he was gonna do well, didn't we, Bruno boy? Bruno is by far the better walker. Anyway, I think I'm gonna call it for the night um, and I'll talk to y'all tomorrow because my freaking legs are fried. I need to stretch, I need to shower, and I need to eat dinner, so. Honestly, these little like taco trays from Costco are so underrated. We used to eat these all the time and we just wanted a quick dinner tonight, so Gio just bought these and I went and watch Suits.
Alright guys, it is banana bread time. As we can see, these are not all the way ripened. Oh, also, I haven't spoken all day for this day of the vlog. Hello, happy Friday. Today is the day that I go back home to Houston to visit my family and all morning as you saw, I was cleaning because I hate, hate going on a trip or just going on an extended stay without having the house spick and span. You know what I mean? So I'm cleaning all morning, editing this vlog, and then now I'm actually running a little bit late. <laughs> I have the oven on and I'm just gonna chuck it in there for about 10 to 15 minutes because apparently that's one of the quickest ways to ripen bananas. And while this is in the oven, I will go ahead and make the dough. Also yesterday night I did my nails and as of like two minutes ago, this nail is already done for. Like. I try, I just try, and it just doesn't work out. <sighs> Anywho, bananas will now go in the oven. Oh, right. I mean, they're soft, but they could definitely be softer. Voila. So, in the oven you go. I love this banana bread recipe so much. I got it off of all recipes. I just want the, okay, there it is. I was like, I feel like every single time you go on these websites, you have to scroll all the way the frick down to get to the actual recipe. I know why, because of the, you know, ads situation or whatever, but still. Let's lay out some newspaper. If you know, you know. I need to make this fast, because I still have to pack. Flour, baking soda, salt, brown sugar. I also like to lay my things out in the order that the recipe says to. Oh, I don't have any more Salt, baking soda, salt, brown sugar. Purr, look at those bananas. Okay, that's perfect. All right, this little brown sugar and butter mixture is done. Let's mash some bananas. Oh yeah, I think. Oh yeah. think that I actually only used half a bag last time but hey, hey nothing wrong with a little more okay yeah I definitely used half a bag normally oh my gosh I'm good 
this smells in freaking incredible. And that's gonna be in there for a whole hour. So time to clean and pack. Okay guys, our freaking banana bread is done. I already started wrapping it, so I'm sorry I could not show it to you guys, but it's still warm, very, very chocolatey. So I cannot wait to give this to my mom. Literally a whole freaking loaf. She hefty. Alrighty, with that being said, your girl got done packing. Gio helps me move everything downstairs. I have my banana bread. So I'm gonna go ahead and start making the drive down to Houston and spend some time with my family. Super excited because I haven't been there in a couple months. It is 425 right now. Apparently there's some really, really bad traffic on the freeway that I'm gonna be taking to go back home. So there's traffic near the airport. It's gonna add five minutes and then there's a car accident, which is gonna add 25 minutes to my drive time. Freaking beautiful, amazing. I think I actually might have to wait that out because if there's one thing about me, I'm not gonna drive in freaking traffic. I'm gonna close out this vlog. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. This is a bit of a longer one and I don't know. I mean, I just started vlogging, right? So I don't really know what the formatting is like if you guys like shorter vlogs longer vlogs y'all let me know down in the comments but if you enjoy this vlog then please give it a thumbs up it lets me know that you do enjoy this type of content and i will definitely be posting more if that is the case but also subscribe if you haven't already follow me over on tiktok or on tiktok at tracyb.fit on instagram at tracybfit and i will talk to you guys so soon so peace